Hey everyone, I'm back with um, a share video. Um, I made another uh, flip book and um, two more pocket letters, so I'm going to kind of zip through this. I'm going to start with the pocket letters, and I do apologize for you ladies coming from Instagram. Um, I did share them on my Instagram. As I always say, I got to share them with my ladies here. That does not um, have an Instagram, but if you do, um, don't forget to follow me, uh, follow me on there. I do use Mommy Loves Gigi, so... Figured I'd throw that in there. All right, guys. So I made this one, I think, a few days ago. Um, or maybe even the day before yesterday. So this is a birthday-themed um, pocket letter. I used the paper. Oh, I got this one from the um, Mint Pink, the Hot Buy paper stack. Um, that paper stack is so pretty guys all right so i use the pink with the gold um dots and i use my pink and gold bow washi on top i also used uh i bought a few packs of the i think they're the chipboard stickers from hobby lobby i love those stickers um they're so pretty so i got the banner from there and it's that gold uh, mint green and pink i thought that was really pretty and then i added some pearls um pink pearls in the background i also added these uh shaker blooms i got from um michael's it's the recollection ones i just stuck them on the outside of the pocket because they were you know they're really puffy um i used a gold die cut on the inside of the pocket of course i had to bring out the um champagne or wine and these are also recollection stickers from michael's I used my mint green and gold doily. I added a cute little cupcake, a butterfly um, on the outside of the pocket letter. And I used my birthday, happy birthday washi guys. I'm not even sure if you guys can see it, but it has that gold lining going through um, all of it. And you guys can't even see it. It's, my lining sucks in here. If you guys can get a little glimpse. So I used that on the top and bottom of the middle row. Just kept it simple, guys. Added some candle um, stickers and a party hat. This is another one of the um, die cuts. Just add some more gold to it. And, of course, a blinged out at sign. And then down here, I thought this one was really fun. Um, the photo booth. I added some mirrored stars down here. I also used my Jolie um, sunglasses uh, stickers. They have a bunch of uh, colors and sizes. And I think I got those ones from Michaels also. One of those cute little puffy uh, stickers. And then I use my mustache stickers. Those are, again, um, from Michaels, and they're the Recollection um, brand. And then I had these cute bubble um, stickers, and I believe I got these from, I want to say Michaels, LOL, and um, Say Cheese. And then I used um, Happy Day and then So Much Fun stickers on the outside of the pocket letter. I used some pink trim on the bottom, and then... I used my gold, um, the little bird and blossoms or flowers, washi. And then I also add some of my skinny rainbow washi. Just I like adding like one thing, I mean, here and there. If you guys notice that, just the little details, guys. So this is my party, birthday party theme pocket letter. And then I made another Paris theme pocket letter. Um, I have not made a Paris one in a long time, guys. And I just enjoy making a Paris um, theme pocket letters. I wish I brought that paper pad out. Um, so this just is like a blue. It has some floral and then a little bird. And it's I think it's the King Company um, paper pad. It's so pretty, guys. And I think I got that from Joann's. So I used some pearls, the smaller pearls on the... Um, the top part this one already had a lot going on to it so I didn't really add too much to it because it didn't need too much um, I pulled out the Dollar Tree um, let's take this out the Dollar Tree floral um, stickers that I thought went well and there's a Paris uh, die cut that's on the outside of the pocket letter this is just one of my um, tags just for added goodie and then up here are some more of the die cuts um, just that white little design kind of hanging down. I thought that was pretty. Some more of the um, Dollar Tree stickers. There's a, a stamp in there. A little die cut. I use the key. And then in the middle, I and this is on the outside of the pocket, just the Eiffel Tower. 
and then I added a butterfly and then just a little design these are both in gold and then over here I don't even know what that what is that guys I don't know what that is but I know it has to do with like Paris something and then um, some more little die cut butterflies and then this is on the outside of the pocket letter ooh la la just a floral um, die cut and a heart and then again the Dollar Tree uh, stickers and then I use my vintage Paris themed um, washi going down the pocket letter and just a white trim so this is how this one came out pretty simple but cute and these are just you know like I said added goodies and I actually got a pack and I think they're a pack of six um, from the Jolie's um, collection from Joann's really pretty tags so usually when I do a Paris theme pocket letter, I always have one of these tags. Um, I'm not sure if I'm, I don't usually never hang them on the side just because they're paper. Um, they're a little thin, so I just kind of just add it in there. They can do whatever they like with it. And then these are just like embellishments of the Eiffel Tower. And I got a pack of these. I think it comes in a pack of four. Um, and they're just metal pieces. I got these from Joann's. It has a cute little bow with some pearls. A little dangling pearl aren't those pretty so it comes in like a pink and a grayish color so that's gonna be an added goodie for that packet letter and then yesterday I started working on a flip book and I had finished it today so I'll quickly share that with you guys and the paper pad that I use for this paper is the um, recollection decorated uh, paper pad it's just the uh, it matches the smaller tubes of the pink, mint, green, and gold um, washi tubes. It's with the, I think all of that's called Decorate It from our collections. Um, really pretty uh, paper. So as you can see, I used the Recollection um, little doilies. It's the pink with the gold. And then I added a um, butterfly glittered um, die cut. And these flowers, one's up there hiding, I got from Hobby Lobby. Really pretty. And then I used the bullseye at Target, their ribbon for a buck. It's that gold and pink. I, I actually bought extras of this because I really like it. Figured I'd add some uh, ribbon to it. And then I couldn't do hello because it was just going too much into the flower. So I just said, you know, did hi. There's a gold arrow. I like the way it came out. So I'm going to have to take you guys out this way. Yes, guys. Mm hmm You know what this is? The rug that I bought from Five Below yesterday. This should be on my front porch. It's just one of the uh, mats that you put in front of your door. Um, nope, I like it on my table. So as, once I get tired of it, it will probably go out on my front door. I didn't really did not mean to use it um, for my table thing, but I thought it was, you know, bright and kind of cute. So I'll be using this for until I get tired of it. All right, so... This is how it, I'm just going to go page by page and then I'll, sh it's nothing really to it. Just, I did it, I didn't do none up or down, just kind of sideways. All right, so over here I use one of my wooden pieces, Beauty. And then as you can see, the Dollar Tree floral stickers are so pretty, guys. I'm telling you, if you don't own any of those um, Dollar Tree stickers, they're awesome quality and they're so pretty. Um, you would pay like three or four dollars for these exact stickers in the bigger um, craft stores. And then I use the mint green and gold doily. Um, and then this, I love this, and I probably would buy, and this is the Create 365 washi. Um, mm -hmm. Excuse me, guys. I'm always dropping shit. Okay, so... I would probably buy another tube of this just for this washi. I like it all. I love that pink with the gold, but this is so pretty. So I used that um, going down it. And then this way I left um, this card blank. Um, so whoever gets the flip book can share some um, things that I don't know about them. And they could send it back to me. And then you see how the washi matches so perfectly with the paper. So I used that washi and then I used some of the... Um, trim that I got from Michael's in the dollar bins that trim is so pretty guys and for a dollar um, I want to go back and stock up on it. I've been using it like crazy so when I flip it this way I made just like a little what do you call I don't it's not necessarily a page but um, it's one of those little cards dream big and I use the 
mermaid tail washi to hold that in place. And then I use one of my uh, smaller envelopes and I just kind of cut it in half. Um, set with love um, stamp. I used some washi and a little flower. I just added some paper clips for added goodies. There's a little bow. And then I also used, first time opening them up, um, my little markers, page markers that I got from Target. I used it in this flip book um, just to add some cuteness. I kind of stuck them before I glued the envelope down in between. So when he's sitting like this, you can see him kind of peeking out. I thought that was kind of cute. Um, and then this page, pretty simple. Um, I used that mint green um, washi that came in the larger tubes. It has that love and a gold heart. So a glittered heart and then an awesome and then a friends little card. So it says love, awesome friends. And then over here, this is going to be about me. So I'm going to add some things about me. I use my gold heart washi. Down here I try to make like a little banner or a flag with that little washi so I'll add um, about me there and then you flip it this way um, I made a little pocket for my tags and then I had received the, these are sticker uh, tags I had got from Carrie Kari Gans she has a YouTube and I want to thank you for these um, I actually love these um, they're so cute so I figured since this is a tag um, page I use this little sticker and I use my little alphabet stamps that I just got from Michaels yesterday I just kind of put tags there, added a little star, some blinged out um, or butterflies. I used my mint green and gold doily back there. And again, one of those page markers. He's kind of peeking out um, over the uh, packet. And then over here, tre uh, treasure these precious moments. It just has some washi. Um, there's a little pocket. Again, there's that little fox kind of peeking out. And I added a washi sample inside that pocket. Over here is the pineapple list pad just for added goodie. I could have used um, the glue dots, the removable um, glue dots to hold this, but I was kind of digging the pineapple washi holding it in place. And then I added some pineapples. So pretty simple guys, but I thought it was um, kind of cute. I'm really digging these uh, flip books guys. So and on the back, I also did something on the back. So it just closes up like that. And then back here, I used some of my lace Dollar Tree um, stickers. They're so pretty. And then some of my wooden die cuts um, from Recollections. And then I used a little doily. Uh, it says love. And I actually made it, I need to glue this down, um, a pocket. So I will add some goodies in this little pocket too. So... This is my other flip book. I think my third flip book um, I made. These are so much fun, guys. But like we all say, they take up more thought and time than um, a regular packet letter. And then um, I had somebody ask me, uh, what do I use the doilies for that I got from Michaels? Um, just for projects like this, guys. You just kind of you can do a lot with these little doilies. I use them in my well recently, still new to flip books, but I use them in my um, flip books, my pocket letters. Um, a lot of people make pockets out of them. You can just add them um, for decoration. They're really pretty. So that's what I use mine for in my pocket letters and uh, flip books. And they're so pretty guys too. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much uh, for watching. I actually, I'm going to take my butt to bed. Um, as you can see, my background doesn't have a whole lot of washi, does it, guys? Um, I wanted to switch it up a little bit. My table was overflowing with washi. I put them in my uh, little storage containers I had bought from um, the Dollar Tree and stuck them in my recollection cart. So I kind of just stuck out some of my favorites. And left the create three six five. I am. I think I'm looking for one more, or I think there's ten. And I got two, four, six, eight. Thought I had nine somewhere. I think I'm. Well, I guess I'm missing two. I've been searching and searching. I have to look to see what print um, they have that I'm missing. But yes, I kind of brought out some of my little flower um, pots and switched things around a little bit. Yeah. 
All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, if you have anything you want to ask or share, comment below. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'm always sharing something on my channel, um, and I appreciate you guys watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.